Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Maw type run of EV Emerald. Last time we delivered a letter to Steven and caught ourselves a second Pokemon, Aron. Something about that I want to address. Some of you might ask why I didn't want to get one with Sturdy. Well, Sturdy only really got good in Generation 5. In 3 and 4, all it did was make your Pokemon immune to Guillotine, Fisher, Horn Drill, or Sheer Cold. It wasn't until Gen 5 reworked it, so you're basically guaranteed a free hit that it's really even worth having. Also, as you can tell, I did some off-screen level grinding for Auron and replaced Tackle and Harden with Metal Claw and Roar, respectively. Anyway, let's get going. So here we enter Broly's gym, and it's dark. You have to beat trainers to light it up. Trainer number one. Hmm, well, one of us may be crying at the end, but I don't think it's gonna be me. Of course, detects. Just go ahead, waste my time, will ya? One down. Just like Whitney. So yeah, it lights up a little bit now that you beat a trainer. This happens every time you beat a trainer in here. Up here is a double battle. And now we get to have our first true double battle of this run with two Pokemon eligible for the Monotype. I still need to think of what nickname I want to give Aron exactly. Not 100% sure. And there goes the second one. There's a couple more trainers in here as well. Let me see. We're not going to fight the gym leader until I beat all the other gym trainers, because, well, after you beat the gym leader, you can't fight them again. And again, the Beldum line is in the slow level up group, so it takes longer to level them up. Compared to the last gym, of course, this one should be a lot easier. Now, mind you, I can still absolutely use lose the Brawly, especially if Matang gets knocked out. But I don't consider it particularly likely. There's one or two more trainers in here. Nothing there. Of 
Nope. I think I've fought everyone. I shouldn't need to go back. But, just in case... Also, fun fact, in Ruby and Sapphire, you don't actually have to fight Brawly at all. You can technically beat the game with only seven badges. That was an oversight that they fixed for Emerald version. Of course, in Emerald version, you don't actually have to fight Brawly second. You can absolutely come back later in the game and fight him basically last, if you wish. Uh, of course. You would use light screen. Yeah, normally all Metatype will do is spam Focus Punch, but of course, for some reason, it has to use light screen this time. Little bitch. I don't dare use any of my other moves because, well... They can miss, and if I don't hit Metatite, it can use a 150 base power attack. Yeah, eat shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, fuck off, Brawly! Just die already! Quit wasting my time. Alright. Now, we're on to Nakahita. Not quite a one shot. Okay, yep, this is over. <laughs> well, uh, hmm. Yeah. I thought this would have taken longer. So, I guess we're gonna end up doing some more stuff than just fighting the gym. You get the Knuckle Badge, the ability to use Flash, and we get Bulk Up. Bulk Up is a very good TM, lets you boost attack and defense at the same time. I don't know if any of the Pokemon I'll be using can learn it, but we'll see. Nope, it's this way. Let's see if what items did I get. Another super potion. Another potion. Another potion. Okay. We'll heal real quick. Get out of the way! Hate when NPCs do that. Alright, so... Now... Wait. Hold on a second. Let's go and get Abra. Just for the ability to teleport. Saves me a little bit of time going back to Pokemon Centers. Just, just in case. I know I'll probably never need to use it, at least for a while. 
but there we go. Now no slash. Now we talk to Mr. Briny, and we get out of here. Slateport City! Also, there's a bunch of hidden items here on the beach. Um, there's a revive, there's a great ball, there's a couple of heart scales. Can't remember where all of them are exactly. But I know where at least a few of them are. Here, you can talk to this girl and you get a soft sand, which will boost your ground, ground attacks, like you know, earthquake, dig, things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one trainer taken down. So, somewhere around here should be another item. Oh, heart scale. Yeah, those are how you pay for uh, the move reminder. You get a great ball over here. And this, you can actually have a couple different types of double battles. Looks like it's going to give me the male swimmer and the sailor this time. Oh, and by the way, the Zigzagoon no surf. So we're going to take that out first. Oh, come on. You didn't use it on Aura? Okay, whatever, Wingle. And now to you, and we'll get the other swimmer on our left. Oh, you'll have plenty of time to learn how to swim, little one. Swim in your own tears. I really am just a beach bully at this point, aren't I? Now there's a couple other things you can do. In here, we can go get ourselves some sodas. If we beat the trainers inside first, of course. Well, we get half a dozen for free, and then the others we have to buy after that. Yeah, Azrael, contrary to what you might first think when you see it, it is not a water type. In Gen 3, it is a pure normal type. One. Yeah, 
Yeah, Headbutt boosted by Silk Surf is pretty good <laughs> at this stage in the game. Doesn't have a lot of power points, but it's powerful. And if you attack first, you can make the enemy flinch. That's one. I'm not sure I really needed that crit, but we take those. Bit of a risk, but go for it. Nope. Oh, good. You didn't actually attack. That would have been a problem. If that thing you used Karate Chop, it would it would have almost certainly taken that out in one hit. Double weakness to fighting type attacks suck. And Tentacool isn't going to have any water-type attacks at this level, so I'm not worried about this one. In fact... Actually, no, I think it still is like, Rapper Constrict, so it theoretically could do damage, but almost nothing. And now, we get a reward. A six-pack of soda. It's basically just a slightly better, and I think cheaper, Super Potion. Let's reorganize this a little bit. Oh yeah, we got a revive, so uh, we'll put that there. And now we walk out. And there is one other hidden item that I can remember the location of. Hang on. Oh yeah, there's these two. We'll deal with the hidden item in a second. Yeah, this one will be pretty easy. Now, don't be confused by what you're seeing here, because, uh, well, there is that one rival battle coming up. I am a bit overleveled for it, but... Oh. Then again, I could still absolutely lose, depending on how fast Combuskin is. So, that's another trainer registered. And now there's one more hidden item I know the location of. It's another heart scale right here. And we made it to Slateport City. Fun fact, the city that this, the Slateport City is based on real life is Nagasaki. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that's still the case in uh, this timeline, but in our timeline, this city, uh, it's seen some shit. <laughs> Let's just say that. So, first things first, we're going to sell off our loot. Not the soft sand, we're going to be keeping that. Because we'll eventually get Earthquake. And we want one of these. You'll find out why later. Next up, we're going to go over here to the fan club. You have a Pokemon that likes you. You can get yourself a Soothe Bell.
Uh, I guess it doesn't like me enough yet. Hmm. Shame. You can have an interview with this lady here, but I'm not gonna bother. And that guy... Well, you can get ribbons for him, from him to boost your Pokémon's appeal in contests. But now... It's time to visit the Name Raider. And... Time to give Auron a name. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? We're gonna call you Alice. After Alice Cooper. Oh, and there's Roxanne. If you don't talk to her in Rust World City after getting the Pokedaf, she'll call you eventually and give you her number. And now, we'll go heal and we'll take care of... Just, we'll take care of the stuff at the museum real quick. these away, and that. And now we enter the museum. Now, I'm not sure, is it possible to softlock yourself here if you don't have the money to get in and don't have any items to sell? No Zigzagoon to pick anything else up? Oh, and by the way, here's the guy that mugged the uh, Devon Corp employee earlier. You get TM46. What's TM46? Appropriately enough, Thief. He rage quit from Team Aqua. And here is... Well, here's Captain Stern, or Professor Stern, whatever his, whatever his title is, I can't remember. So, here we have a battle with two Team Aqua grunts back-to-back. -back. It's not a double battle. Frankly, I think it should have been a double battle, but that's just me. And first I set out Carvana. And I take a little bit of damage because of its rough skin ability, and I used a move that does contact. So, there we go. And, well, this one should be easy. There's that attack boost. Nice. I don't think I'll need it, but it's always nice to see when it happens. Let's use Headbutt on you. And that's the battle. Oh look, it's Johnny Depp. I mean Archie. Eh, sounds like hippie gobbledygook to me. Thanks for using the Hoenn Regional Postal Service.
And I think that wraps this up for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you liked it. Um, check out my Rumble. And I will see you all next time. Oh, one more thing. That's it. One more thing. Forgot about this. So yeah, Scott walks up to you, and if you hadn't already learned his name from the trainer school, well, this is where he introduces himself formally. And he gets contact info. Okay, for realsies now. See you next time.